Dozens of college students forced into quarantine, a city banning mass gatherings, and a county back in the red on the state's risk map for exposure. As one Northeast Ohio University tries to stop the spread of the coronavirus on campus and in the community. Kent State is limiting gatherings on its campus tonight, moved spring break, and warned students that there could be consequences if they don't follow pandemic rules. But the steps the university is taking are impacting many more people than just the ones who are working and living on campus. News 5's Emily Hamilton tells us how one closing on campus has, has left hundreds of young athletes and their parents frustrated. The ice arena here at Kent State is a staple in the community, both for students and those living in Portage County. In a move to slow the spread of COVID-19, the university shut the doors to the arena and now hockey players and their parents say they are not happy about having to drive more than an hour to practice and play. The closure of the Kent State Ice Arena caught dozens of paying Northeast Ohio families off guard. It's all, you know, indefinite, indefinite, you know, unsure. So we have no clarity of what the future looks like or where 150 plus kids are going to play hockey. The arena was shut down ahead of the city of Kent's mass gathering ban after a recent spike in COVID-19 cases at Kent State University. According to the university, the arena had been closed to students and the general public for the fall semester. But it was being used by student organizations and several area high school hockey teams and youth clubs like the Cyclones. Now you have families driving 80 out or 80 miles in uh, a night just to get practice time in. Parents say they've spent a pretty penny on club hockey and we're left with few options or answers when the rink shut down. It's not like you can just you know head down and, and hit the courts with a basketball or something. We, we have to find ice and, and there's not enough rinks around. These parents we spoke with say they understand the need for slowing the spread of COVID-19, but don't feel that youth hockey is receiving the same accommodations as other youth sports like football or baseball. There's not ice rinks just you know around the corner and you know, the next rinks that are closest to Kent State are a half an hour, an hour away. You know, we're going out to, to Worcester, to Youngstown. A university spokesperson says anybody who paid for time in the rink will be refunded. Reporting in Kent, Emily Hamilton, News 5.